Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you so much for the love and support. You know, just listening to the videos, taking heed with the videos, just, you know, basically is validating some things that you might have questions for. And I'm so glad that I was able to help you assist with those things. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough to drop me a line or two, please go ahead and do so. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you some good vibes you want to share with somebody, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much once again for stopping by my channel and showing love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this beautiful meditation music I am listening to today is 432 hertz cleanse negative energy binarial beats healing meditation and energy cleanse and i will post that link in the description box below it's good to always have like an energy cleanse or a home cleanse because it's just like with your jobs and everything like that we we carry on we transfer so much energy and there's times you at least need to do that once to twice a week in your home and with yourself um and today my video is about twin flame 101 um empaths give yourself that time to process this whatever you have gone through through your shifts through your spiritual awakenings things that you're learning more about yourself that you're like there is no way in heck that i'm going through this there's no way in world that I'm this there's nowhere in the world I'm that you know you could be a twin flame and you're trying to understand that because I know when I first found out I was a twin flame and trying to figure out what that was and then seeing my dad's picture side by side and then it's just like it, it, it you know it's <laughs> validating a lot of stuff for me so it took me a minute to sink all this stuff in and knowing where the connection was coming from because it took me you know, you, you're probably going through things with yourself, especially, you know, I've been getting, getting so many comments about people just finally finding out about what they are. Like, oh, I always knew there was something different about me, but then I didn't know what the labels were that whatever it was called. You know, I've been going through these, you know, psychiatrists, been going to therapists, or, you know, whatever. Um, and then thinking all these crazy things about me when it was just like, okay, I'm going through a spiritual awakening. Okay, I'm, I'm a witch. Okay, I'm an indigo. Okay, I'm a crystal seed. I'm a star seed. I'm a shadow seed. You know, I'm a shaman. You know, all these different things. It could you you need you need you need to give yourself that chance to process all that stuff because it's not easy to find out these things about yourself, especially if you know if there's been things that is like you really didn't believe that it's possible because it's just like a lot of people they don't believe in you know the afterlife or you know well after the afterlife people can still be walking around in limbo or they don't believe in ghosts until they actually have to go through that and then they're still having to process their self like did i really see this so you have to give yourself that time to be able to process this and just knowing the things that you're going to heal that you need to heal from you know sometimes we can be our own worst enemy and it's like i'm mad at myself because i'm not able to let this go or i'm mad at myself because i don't want to feel this way about this knowing that you have to go through stuff like that that's the reason why it's surfacing up to you because these are the things that's calling your attention like hey i need you to work on this or hey i need you to heal from this and i know it might take you a minute but that's fine that's normal so don't beat yourself up when you're not able to get you know get over stuff just like do the next day because you know it's going to be a process for you and knowing when you're finding out all these new things for your about yourself it's going to be a process for you to just think all this stuff in because it's like more and more stuff that you're finding out about this new phantom character that has played this collaboration in your life this whole time this has basically been hitching a ride on your life <laughs> of your back the back of your life you know what i'm saying and you're just finally thinking like that this has been here this whole time and i'm just finally realizing what i am so it can be an initial shock for you 
So be able to give yourself that time to sink in what you are, but while you're doing that, learn more about yourself. Do that research. Google things that you're going through. Google the things that are falling. You know, look into the things that's been falling into your lap that might seem off to you and like, wait a minute, can this be? If it's falling in your lap, it's for a reason. So go ahead and look these things up. Research. Learn the things you need to learn about yourself and give yourself that processing time to sink all this in, okay? So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. So now it's much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I hope your days are blessed and you enjoyed your weekend and, you know, starting off a beautiful week. So I would like to give a shout out to LPP. I hope everybody is blessed and, you know, everything's good in S. Harris. And, you know... Knowing I'm sending out infinite abundance, uplifting vibes, and healing loving vibes. Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback, the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.